It is day three of my road trip around Eastern Romania, and I woke up in the apartment of my beautiful friend, Madaluna, who made me a coffee, and then she was my personal driver in Baco. Sorry, I pronounced it wrong yesterday. Our first stop of the day was this really cute waffle and crepe restaurant. You're going to see the theme of the day is good vibes and eating. They had this waffle that had shunka and cheese and salata, and it was so yummy. It was a beautiful morning, so we went to the Insula de Agrament to work off some of our breakfast and just enjoy the beautiful weather. It was disappointing to see how many structures in this park were seemingly finished but then unused, like this greenhouse. Baco has several abandoned structures that are interesting, like the Hotel Moldova and this stadium. This stadium was one of the first in Romania to have lights for night games, but now it's a shell of what it used to be, and I hope they do something with it. After our morning in Baco, we headed about 15 kilometers outside of town to the boutique hotel Catalea, which has the most beautiful view. The food was great, but even better was the company and the conversation, thanks to Madaluna for showing me around. After lunch, it was time for me to head out of town, and I headed north to a tiny place called Miklaushen that has a beautiful castle. This is Castello Sturza, which has tours every hour, and the last one being an hour before closing time. I made it just in time to have a tour of the inside, and I'll show you a few clips, but if you want to see all of the inside, you have to come and visit yourself. It's only 20 lei. From Miklau Shen to Yash, the drive should only be about an hour, but I hit horrible traffic, and it ended up taking me close to two and a half hours to arrive in Yash. After three full days of hiking and traveling, I decided to treat myself, so I'm staying at the Hotel Unirea for two nights while I visit Yash. It's a beautiful hotel and spa right in the center of town, and the room includes spa and breakfast. Since I was treating myself to a hotel, I decided to treat myself to a nice dinner also. I went to the panoramic restaurant that overlooks the whole city, and it was absolutely beautiful. The food and the service were absolutely perfect, and look, I did a magic trick and made my steak disappear. After dinner, I was so tired, so I headed to bed. See you tomorrow for day four.